Well, g'day everyone, it's Luke from Adventure Shack here. So, we just got one of the new Ram G300 amp hour lithium batteries in, uh, and I thought it'd be a good time to go over some of the features of them and do a bit of testing to see how it actually performs. So, one of the fir uh, main things we have been getting a lot of inquiries about is is it actually the same size as a 200 amp hour battery? Uh, and so what I've actually done, I've grabbed one of the 200 amp hour Renergies here and as you can see they are the same size. So if you've got room to fit a 200 amp hour in the Renergy series, you will be able to fit the 300. So that's really good, um, does allow you to get that extra bit of power and use the same footprint, so good to see there. So one of the other things, or a few of the other things that I wanted to go over with the features with um, this battery, and this is in the entire core series from Energy. So they do 100 amp hour, 200 amp hour, and now the 300 amp hour. Uh, first of all, they're using an EV rated cell. So it's a really high quality cell. Um, they've put that in an IP65 rated casing. So it's waterproof, but not submersible. So it does allow for quite a few applications back of ute, uh, caravan, even the side mountain caravan boxes that are coming out at the moment, um, boats, all sorts of stuff. So it does have a pretty wide range of applications. Uh, it's got a 200 amp hour uh, discharge rate on the BMS, so a good amount of power. Um, the other thing which is really good with these ones though is these can be wired in parallel and series. So you can stick with parallel up to four batteries uh, at 12 volt, or you can series them up to 24 or 48 volts. Um, so that's also going to cover a, a big variety of applications. But even more so, you can go four in parallel, you can do four lots of that, and then connect those four banks into series, giving you up to 16 batteries. So then you're starting to get into, can I use this for an off-grid solution on a house or a shed or something like that? So really versatile battery. Um, and on top of that, as it said, 300 amp hours is what they've rated it at or 38, 40 watt hours. But what I'd like to do is actually check that and see what it does when we put it under a um, capacity test. So I've got one of my little capacity testers here. This is going to draw about 180 watts or 12, 13 uh, amps uh, consistently and it's going to end up measuring um, what's the actual amp hours and the watt hours as well. So I'm going to get this set up and get it testing. Uh, it'll probably take a fair bit of time at that, at that rate and see what results we actually get. Okay, well... It's been going for just under 24 hours now uh, and really happy with the results we've got. So in the end, um, I set this to cut off at 10.5 volts, which is the uh, what they specify in this as flat. Um, and we've ended up with 318 amp hours or it's 4140 watt hours. So this battery is actually underrated uh, to what they say, and um, that's really quite impressive for what I would call the mid-level price range battery. Uh, I think with the features you're getting, the waterproof, the options on parallel and series, and that it's definitely rated um, for what they say and even a bit more, um, this is a really good value battery. So. Um, I recommend checking them out and um, yeah, we'll be doing some more videos as we do other installations with these batteries. Uh, and so keep following us around and, and see what we do with them and uh, maybe this is a good solution for your next van. Okay, thanks.